Okay, now kita belajar mengenai logarithmic function pula iaitu fx equals to ln x ataupun u ada fx equals to log x. Dua-dua sama sahaja. So now, kalau kamu nampak je log logarithmic function, dia suruh sketch. Fokus kamu hanyalah vertical asymptote. Okay, this is very important very important. Dan kamu kena cari di manakah vertical asymptote tersebut. It is actually it's actually here. Vertical asymptote dekat sini will always give us zero. Whatever inside of this bracket, whatever inside of this bracket, you make it equal to zero and you're going to get the value of x. So that will be our asymptote and allow me to find where is the x equals to zero, you must know that our part C Y adalah adalah di sini adalah x equals to zero. Okay, you must be know about that already. Now, tugas kita adalah untuk mencari the most basic shape basic shape untuk ln untuk y equals to ln x the most basic shape adalah dia menghala ke arah dia menghala ke arah first quadrant let's start now iaitu dia akan dilukis dia akan dilukis dari bahagian yang menghampiri asymptote. Remember ya guys, this is what we call asymptote, vertical asymptote. Di mana asymptote, di mana graf tak akan melepasi asymptote ini. Therefore, lukisannya adalah lukisannya adalah ke arah oops Lukisannya adalah menghala ke posit, sorry, menghala ke first quadrant. Okay, menghala ke first quadrant, and you know that this is y equals to positive ln, and also positive x sebab dua-dua berada di positive area first quadrant. Okay, now your job is to find the domain. The domain adalah dari kiri ke kanan. Dari kiri, kamu akan perasan your x. Oh, dia menghampiri sahaja. Menghampiri kosong. Dari kiri, paling hujung kosong x dia. Ke kanan, tak tahu sampai mana. Iaitu positive infinity. Adakah zero termasuk? Confirm tidak. The domain, sorry, the range pula. So, the range pula dekat sini adalah paling bawah paksi Y, eh? paling bawah ke paling atas, iaitu kita akan nampak, dia adalah negative infinity to positive infinity ataupun kita boleh tuliskan sebagai real numbers ok, let's proceed to the second quadrant, whereby I confirm you already know it the second quadrant The second quadrant adalah y equals to what? Positive ln, right? Positive ln having a negative x. Sebab negative x, negative area punya x. Okay. So, dia akan dilukis menghampiri asymptote ni ke arah second quadrant. Okay. Oops. Okay, lebih kurang beginilah. Okay, lebih kurang begini. Dan saya mesti letak saya punya arrow dekat sini supaya saya nak kamu nampak dia menghala ke second quadrant. Okay, or maybe I should put it a bit like this. Yeah. Okay, now, 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 now. This is where, dekat mana dia menyentuh ni? Dia menyentuh pada x-intercept iaitu 1. 
dan juga negatif 1. Now, seterusnya kita pergi mencari the domain dulu dan juga range. Jangan lupa. So, the domain dekat sini daripada kiri ke kanan. So, negative infinity akan berhenti ke arah negative infinity ke arah x iaitu x dia kosong. Menghampiri kosong dan kosong tidak termasuk. Then, our real numbers it going to be Eh, sorry, our range of the function will be real numbers. Sebab daripada bawah, negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay. Now, teruskan pula ke third quadrant. Let's go. So, the third quadrant, confirm you know it already, that the function is y equals to, y equals to negative, sebab negative y kan, area dia. Negative e to the power of to the power of negative x. So about y then x the negative. This is what we call third quadrant. Therefore, kita lukis dari asymptote ya guys. Always lukis daripada asymptote menghala. Yay! Thankfully, it works. It works now. Dia menghala ke third quadrant let me use yellow color menghala ke third quadrant lovely dan of course kena sentuh kepada negative 1 ni ya remember that now tugas kita mencari domain domainnya adalah negative infinity and stop until this asymptote give us x equals to 0 therefore Dia berhenti sebelum kosong. Graf dia. That's why kosong tidak termasuk. Dan the range adalah from negative infinity to positive infinity. Paling bawah ke paling atas. Okay. The last one. The last one already. Let's use blue color. Oh no, 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 no. Maybe I can use this pink color. I don't know. Now, the last one is the fourth quadrant. Let me write it down first. Fourth quadrant. So, fourth quadrant functionnya adalah y bersamaan dengan, of course, you tahu dah, dia negative area y kan? And then, exponent dia adalah to the power of positive x sebab dia berada di positive x area. Okay. Now, the graph will be starting from this asymptote, menembusi 1, and there you go. I got the shape already. Oh my god, dah makin pro lah. Now, thank you. Take me some time, okay guys? Please understand with me. I mean, understand me and bear with me, okay? Now, this is what I got. A very beautiful graph over here, isn't it? Now, Let's get the domain. The domain here is daripada mana ke mana? Daripada kiri guys. Daripada kiri. Daripada kiri fokus. Kiri graph ni. Warna pink ni. Daripada kiri hujung iaitu kosong ke positive infinity. Very good. Ke positive infinity. Dan zero confirm tidak termasuk. Dan our range adalah daripada bawah ke atas. Therefore, we're going to get real numbers. Is it okay, everyone? I know you will be very excellent in graph. Now, thank you for listening. All the best.